And do you want like a welcome to Lords or anything? Or? <laughs> Uh, I'm Paul Edelston, I'm a structural engineer within the Bureau Happold Sports team and I've been working on the Lord's Cricket Ground redevelopment uh, that you can see in the background. Bureau Happold had a role on this job, uh, multidisciplinary engineering, on uh, designing these two new stands um, either side of the media centre here. At the beginning of the project, it was anticipated that it would be a concrete structure um, and Bureau Hapoard undertook a significant constructional analysis to understand the benefits of other materials to improve the efficiency of construction and allow the stadium uh, to be built quicker than through concrete construction. So our sports expertise in Bureau Hapoard's um, doesn't just have structural engineering, we offer a multidisciplinary um, offer and on this project we had building services closely knit with our structures team and we worked really hard to coordinate the building services with structure and to really maximise floor to ceiling space. Within the steel beams uh, there's an array of holes that were coordinated with our building services team that really enabled um, the architecture and internal fit out to uh, improve and um, maximise the potential. Right from the outset of the project, uh, the architect's vision uh, was one that we were looking at to, to really deliver through the structural engineering design uh, and the colonnade perimeter around the outside of the stadium that can be seen from the nursery ground uh, was a really key visual uh, that we wanted to help the architect deliver. The way that we did that was to have stability elements on every grid line um, that meant that we could reduce the number of other stability uh, elements on the perimeter and allow some slender CHS columns uh, to achieve that colonnade system uh, that's really a beautiful aspect of the stadium design. Working in 3D uh, is really helpful on projects of this type. We have multiple interfaces between different materials on this and typically in sports projects there's precast terrace units with, with primary steelwork. Uh, we really had to work hard in the 3D environment with Wilkinson Air, the architect, the primary package contractors uh, who delivered the steelwork, Severfield and, and the precast uh, FP McCann. Working with ISG, the main contractor, you can see that we've, we've completed the construction of the majority of the primary structure which has only been improved through the uh, collaborative effort of, of all those team members. One key issue that's not highly visible on the project was the proximity to a Thames water sewer just beneath the stand it runs directly through the middle of the site. We had to overcome the proximity of that to structure through the arrangement of the grid and ensuring that the foundations were far enough away from the sewer. I think what these two new stands do is they've completely transformed this end of the Lord's Cricket Ground compared to the, the old um, Compton and Edrich stands. The facilities are vastly improved. There's a, a, a remarkable improvement in hospitality that was never there before. The top of the stands, having been up there just earlier, it gives an incredible view of the cricket pitch. It's incredible to think that around one year ago, the most amazing World Cup final had England lifting the trophy on this very pitch. And since then, in that time, even with a global pandemic, two stands have been demolished and the two brilliant stands behind have been constructed. It's a testament to Bureau Happold and all the others involved in the delivery of this project uh, that this has been able to take place. 
and I for one can't wait to see it open um, when it's possible to.